What is up everyone and welcome back to another week's video. This week I'm going to be making the case against nose plugs. Um, now before you all start, I can hear you on your end of the screen now. Nose plugs are so important when you're learning to roll, blah 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 blah. Today I'm going to be making the case against nose plugs for intermediate kayakers who are trying to improve themselves. Um, which I know is a lot of people who watch this channel. Uh, I dig it. I love we're all trying to get better together. Uh, I'm here for you. I want to help. And I think this is one way that I can help you improve your kayaking. A very simple step, right? So before we start, I do want to say I think nose plugs are an excellent tool for when you're learning to kayak, when you're learning to roll especially. Uh, they can build a lot of confidence and they can take away that feeling of like water getting jetted up your nose. Uh, to start with, right, so you can just kind of concentrate on the action of rolling your kayak back up the right way and not be overcome by too many sensations all at one go, okay? I want to be very clear about that. I think in that circumstance, I think nose plugs are an excellent tool. But something I see a lot and I think a lot of people um, as they progress their kayaking careers their identity somewhat gets linked to their nose plug or their wearing of a nose plug while they're kayaking. And I want to be up front here. I used to be one of these people. When I was kayaking and I was kind of progressing my way up, I would wear a nose plug a lot, like really, really a lot. However, after a while, I did start to see that when I didn't have my nose plug, I was kind of frazzled and my paddling would suddenly be like bruh, bruh, and I, 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 I couldn't focus on what I was doing because I was so worried about what it would feel like if I was upside down and there was water going up my nose and then one thing leads to another and then you're offline and then you're, tr you're trying to concentrate on what you're doing and you can't do it because you're dependent on your nose plug. And so what I really want to talk to you today is about making the case for weaning off of nose plugs for people in that intermediate and advanced paddler group. Um, I do think if you're in your first, um, you know, six months of paddling, maybe your first year, I think a nose plug's great. But I think after that, more and more people need to be trying to wean, whoop, trying to wean themselves off of the nose plug because it becomes a bit of a crutch and it can become frazzling, right? And so with our identity kind of linked to being someone who is a nose plug wearer, um, it then makes it difficult to think about other things, right? And the way I like to think about it is more like your, your brain has a certain amount of total capacity of things that are going on. And if you want to progress your whitewater skills, you kind of need to winnow those things down so that you have more capacity for finding the line you're on, reading the water that's in front of you, concentrating where you're going and how you're making your boat get there. Um, and over time, that like you need less capacity to do those things. Um, you know, it frees up for other stuff, which is really cool. Uh, and I, on my podcast a few times, I've spoken to people who've kind of described this feeling where they're like, they're in a very flow state and they're, they're kind of thinking about other things while they're kayaking hard whitewater, which is really cool. It's a cool place to be, but it comes through freeing up that bandwidth. And so that total bandwidth, I like to think that when we're wearing our nose plugs, it's kind of eating up some of your bandwidth all the time. Because you're either thinking about putting it on, you're thinking about what happens if it slips off, you're thinking about if you don't have it on, um, and all of a sudden your paddling is really dependent on on a nose clip, right? And if you don't have it on that day, oh, you, you can't go you can't go kayaking. The whole day's a write off. And I've met a ton of people who are in this position, and like I said, I used to be one of them. And so I want to just give my advice on on why I think they're bad, as I've outlined. I think it's bad for your mental capacity, but also how to start weaning off. And I was lucky um, in that my personality fits into this method of, uh, of negative reinforcement. Um, but one of my good friends, Devin Scott, we were kayaking at Minibus one day and he's like, hey, I see you're still wearing that nose plug. Um, and he just kind of like lay, laid it out where he thought um, that it was kind of stupid and that like, you know, I was better off without it. And I kind of worked myself off of it. I stopped wearing it as much as I could and I didn't really follow much of a plan for, for breaking that habit of no longer wearing a nose plug, right? But I wanted to lay out a better plan, um, knowing what I know now that would have made it easier and easier and easier for me to not have become dependent on this in the first place. So if you're kind of new to kayaking, I would say nose plug, great thing. But as soon as you can roll comfortably every time, I would start to do some practice rolls without this nose plug. 
and just start getting used to it, start spending some time underwater, blow bubbles through your nose, hang out upside down, and just get used to the feeling of there being just a little tiny bit of water in that front cavity of your nose. It's not a ton, it's not like infecting your brain or anything, but the, the sooner you can kind of get used to it and get over that feeling, the better off you're gonna be. Now, even if you spend a bit of time without this on, you might still wanna wear it when you go down some rapids sometimes, maybe you're surfing a wave, great, that's fine. But over time, what you're gonna do is increase the amount of time where you're not wearing a nose plug and decrease the amount of time where you need a nose plug. And this doesn't have to be like overnight, like I kind of went cold turkey and flipped the switch on it overnight, which was kind of reckless, it worked for me, I'm glad it did. But I wouldn't do it again, and I don't recommend people do it that way. I would say if you're gonna quit wearing a nose plug, you have to kind of set yourself up in a situation where you don't need to use it as much. And more of a tapering off solution, I think it's probably gonna be better for you. You might be hard, you might be like, Seth, you're right, I am using up too much brain power thinking about my nose plug, and it's impacting my kayaking. And you might be willing to just like, get rid of it, okay? That's great if you are but not everyone is. Um, so I do think tapering off is the best thing you can do. I do have a couple of caveats because there's kind of a dichotomy in all things, isn't there? There's kind of like two sides to the coin. And the other side of the coin is I, I do appreciate some people are afflicted by bad seasonal allergies and bad sinus infections from having water in your nose. But I think a lot of that stuff is overcomable. I think you can taper yourself off of it uh, a lot. There will still be some people who are like, yeah, I'm still gonna wear a nose plug, I get it. But I just think this is one easy way where a lot of people can stand to improve their paddling greatly by freeing up some of that mental capacity to look ahead and kind of think about what your boat's doing and think about what the water's doing and not think about if your nose plug is slipping off, right? Because it sounds like a stupid thing, but think about it right now. If you're a, a current nose plug wearer, like I used to be, and think about how much of your paddling time you think about putting it on, taking it off, putting it on, taking it off, thinking about like just, just getting it just right. And now think about if you could use all of that brain power to read the water that was like, you know, the rapid you're going down, the wave you're surfing, the trick you're doing, whatever it is. Think about all that extra brain power you could have to focus on your kayaking just from that one small shift. So I would say taper off, um, not, not in your first few months of kayaking, like get, get your roll like pretty solid first and then start tapering off. And if you can already roll, then think about it, think about it seriously. I think it is a small change that can have a big improvement on your kayaking. I haven't worn an nose plug for a long time. It took me a while to dig that one out um, of our garage. And I'm really grateful that I had the opportunity to, to quit, to get out of it, and to change my identity from someone who was dependent on a nose plug to achieve their potential, to not, not realizing the limitlessness of my potential by not being attached to it being a nose plug wearer, right? So just try and make that shift in your brain, try and switch from being a nose plug user to not being dependent on a nose plug. And I think that the more, the more quickly you can do that, the more quickly you'll see improvements in your kayaking. Try a tapering off strategy. I think that, in my opinion, is the best way to do it. If cold turkey works for you, that's great too. Uh, maybe have some of your friends try and hold you accountable. Maybe you're gonna all quit at the same time. It's great. Like I said, don't you, know, you don't have to go cold turkey, but I do think tapering off is gonna help you a lot in the long term. And the quicker you make that adjustment, the faster you're gonna progress. So think about that, it's like kind of a, a compounding interest situation of, of uh, improvement. And it's a small thing, it's gonna make a big difference. I know some people are gonna say, you're wrong, I'm not gonna do that, I get it. I know this isn't for everyone, not everyone wants to get better at kayaking. I hope you do. I will see you in the next video without your nose plug. Peace.